Hi boys and girls, welcome to Everyday Math Lesson Unit 1 Review. The materials that you'll need today, notebook paper, your pencil, and then the Unit 1 Math Review Sheet. If you don't have that today, that's okay. Then when we get to that part, continue writing your answers on your whiteboard or your paper. Let's get started. The first question that I have is if we have the number 15, can you write down which is 10 less and 10 more? 10 less than 15 would be 5, 10 more than 15 would be 25. And if it's helpful to use a number grid on the side, you can do that for each of these problems. Now second graders, could you write down what's 10 less and what's 10 more than 32, 109, and 155? And then press play when you're ready to check your answers. So if I find 32 and I think of 10 less than 32, that would be 22. 10 more than 32 would be 42. If I had 109, 10 less than 109 would be 99, 10 more would be 119. And 155, 10 less would be 145, 10 more would be 165. Will you write down three names for the number 19? So three different ways that you can get to 19, either by adding two numbers, adding three numbers, or by subtracting. Press pause and then play when you're ready to hear your answers. There's lots of possible answers. The answers that I chose for this one, I chose 10 plus 9, 5 plus 5, which equals 10 plus 9, and then 20 minus 1. And again, you maybe had three completely different answers, and that's okay as long as it takes you to 19. Second graders, if I have 45 cents, can you show me four different ways that I could get to 45 cents using coins? And let me just show you one way, just so that you can kind of understand what I'm thinking. So I'm showing D's for dimes. So if I had 10, 20, and then nickels are my five, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So can you think of three more ways to get to 45? Press pause and then play when you're ready to hear some answers. Another way that I had is I used a quarter, which is 25, a dime takes me to 35, and another dime takes me to 45. Then I used a quarter, which was at 25, a dime takes me to 35, then I have nickels, so then I'm at 40 and 45. One more way that I chose was using four dimes, so 10, 20, 30, 40, plus one nickel to get me to 45 cents. There's more than just these four ways, but double check to make sure that you got 45 cents. Let's try one more problem like this. This time, can you find four different ways to show 75 cents? Press pause and then play when you're ready to hear some answers. One way that I used was using quarters. So I have 25, 50, 75. Then I used two quarters, 25 plus 25 to get 50, and then two dimes gets me to 60, 70, and a nickel brings me to 75. Then I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes, which equals 70 cents, and one nickel to get me to 75. And the last way that I chose, I used a quarter, which was 25, and then I counted by tens with my dimes, 35, 45, 55, 65, 
75. So a quarter and five dimes. And you maybe had some other ways to get to 75 cents, and that's great too. Could you show me the number 27 with tally marks? Press pause and then play when you're ready to check your answer. Your tally marks should look something like this. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. And if you want more practice with tally marks or more practice with any of the problems that we're doing, feel free to pe press pause and make up some problems similar to how we're practicing. Second graders, can you tell me how much money this is? Write your answer down on your whiteboard and then press play when you're ready to hear my answer. All right, so I have two quarters. So I have my 25 plus 25, which equals 50, plus 5 gets me to 55, a penny 56, 57. Now you could write 57 two different ways. You could put it in dollar cent notation or you could write 57 cents. Let's try one more like this. How much money do you see? Press pause and then play when you're ready to check your answer. All right, second grader, so I have two dimes. I know a dime is worth 10 cents. So I have 10, 20, and then I'm switching to nickels, which a nickel is worth five. 25, 30, 35, plus a penny takes me to 36 cents. And I can either show that with my dollar cent notation or with 36 cents. Boys and girls, could you write down what time is it on my clock? If you said 1.30, you are correct. Notice how that hour hand is in between the one and the two and the minute hand is on the six. What time is it here? If you said one o'clock, you are correct. What time is it here? Notice how my hour hand is in between the 11 and the 12, and my minute hand, the longer hand, is on the six. If you said 11.30, you are correct. Three more. What time is it here? If you said nine o'clock, you are correct. What time is it here? And if you need to pause, please do that and then press play when you're ready to talk about your answer. If you said 2.30, that is correct. One more, what time is it here? If you said seven o'clock, you are correct. So boys and girls, now we're going to move on to that unit one review sheet, the piece of paper. So can you please write your answers on your paper? And remember to solve first and then press play to hear the answers. If you do not have a paper copy of the review, continue writing down your answers in your notebook or on your whiteboard. If you can first start by making sure you have your name at the top. And then question number one asks us to count by ones and to fill in the missing numbers. Can you fill in the missing numbers for A, B, and C? And then press play when you're ready to check your answer. All right, second graders, so if I was at 31, then I would have 32, 33, 34, and 35. And if you're noticing that you have any mistakes, can you fix those with your pencil and eraser? If I'm at 84, 85, then I would have 86, 87, and 88. If I'm at 102, then I would have 103, 104, 105, and 106. And if I'm going too fast, please pause as often as needed. Could you now answer questions two and number three? For question two, how much money do you have if you have three nickels? For question three, fill in the missing numbers. Press pause and then play when you're ready to hear the answers for both questions two and three. 
All right, if I have three nickels, I have five, 10, 15 cents. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. And again, if you have any mistakes, please fix those with your pencil and eraser. We're gonna now take a look at question number four. So will you write the number seven in the correct place on the number line? Can you also look at question number five and fill in the missing numbers on the number grid? And if you wanna use your number grid, that might be helpful for question five. Press pause and then play when you're ready to talk about questions four and five. All right, when I'm writing the seven on the number line, I would choose to count to start at 10 and to count back. So I would know this would be a nine, eight, and my seven would be right here. Okay, so can you double check and make sure that you had your seven three dashes away from your 10? And if I'm at 43, I'm increasing by one. I would have 44. 45, and then if I'm going down, I'm increasing by 10. So 10 more than 44 would be 54. 10 more than that would be 64. If I have 77, one less would be 76. One less again would be 75. 10 more than 77 would be 87, and then 97. We have one last question, number six. Can you start at 110 and skip count by fives? And will you circle your counts? So I would circle 110 and then I would circle the other numbers that I'm counting by when counting by fives. Press pause and then play to check your answer. So if we were at 110, and then we're skip counting, counting by fives. I would have 115, 120, 125, 130. Boys and girls, if you have any questions on any of the review questions, please ask your classroom teacher. But otherwise, thank you for reviewing with me and good luck on your unit one test. See you next time.